and crystal balls. Break your wands and burn your hats. Turn away the black cat. And the bat, the owl, and the rat. Tell me what they were servants of the ma the mages left, but the gargoyles remain the quarters they guard. Your lecherous bodies, but not... Hey! Surviving son of a cunt! His cocksucking motherfucking majesty! Excuse me? Oh, <coughs> pardon me, sir. I meant no offense. Mm. You're leaving the deliberations. Why? Hanselt! He used to have all Edern where to live in a cat when a yoke! Scandalous. No one opposed him? None! Radovid drools for Tamaria, and will let that lout have anything in exchange. The North will never be the same again. I must return home. Farewell. Roach had murder in his eyes. He wanted blood and couldn't care less that it was royal, that this was what Letho would have wanted. The death of a king is the triumph of chaos, civil war, famine, fear among common folk, a time of disdain. That is the only reason Henselt remains alive and Kedwen grows stronger. Thousands of Kedwenis live better lives because their ruler is an amoral, ruthless son of a bitch who stands above the law. Of great... We are about to witness a great event. Yeah, I can't wait. Let's go inside. It's now or never. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. Tamaria has yet to speak its last. Vernon Roach, commander of your Fallen King Special Forces, was responsible for today's massacre in the Kedwani camp. Has he been captured? He fled. Our people are on his trail. Lesser incidents have culminated in war, Constable. Roach acted on his own behalf. 
This illustrates precisely why Temeria cannot be left to fend for itself. The result would be anarchy and chaos. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thaned Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Marigold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanserville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Marigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanserville will be condemned to death. Sheila de Tanserville, until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about.
while you can, Witcher. You can't stop me. Not you, not anyone else. Managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Semphasis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning the sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demaven. That's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. He chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demaven, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorven. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. And who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your Beth, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? And can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. The dragon attacked Foltest's troops during the siege of Lavalet Castle. That hardly supports your tale. We did not control it then. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south, to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher.